Word up YouTube, it's DW Blue Videos, I'm back, and I'm going to do a little feature of my uh, vintage re-release cars. Uh, what you see here is one of my um, iconic, probably one of the most iconic uh, RC cars of the 1980s, and uh, yeah, it's a re-release of the Tamiya Hornet. Um, car is all stock except for ball bearings. I did equip the car with ball bearings upon uh, the build. Um, other than that, uh, same stock motor. Speed controls the stock when I came in the kit and I put a Spectrum receiver in it with a HPI waterproof servo, which I don't know, I might change that out. We're gonna see, I haven't really played with the car. Um, as you can see, I did the car up in a pretty much a box art configuration um, and I did do one little modification and that is filled in the lettering on the, the tires uh, one thing I do want to say is that you need a Sakura uh, paint pen to do this it needs to be fine to do the lettering on these tires so um, there you go uh, I have not driven this car I've only done uh, I've only built it and as you see it is how I built it and that's that so I'm gonna move this guy out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, my next one and that's this guy right here Now that one there is the re-release of the Kyosho Scorpion 2014 re-release. Uh, this one here, I've uh, been a fan of the Kyosho Scorpion series. Never owned one until now. Um, and uh, again, all stock, uh, no frills, nothing fancy. Um, did come equipped with the bearings and everything. Um, the electronics, I am running a, do, 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 what is this speed control? It is a Hobbywing Quick Run for a brush motor. Um, reason why I put that in this vehicle was due to the fact is that the vehicle came out in 1982. And back in 1982, we didn't have brushless motor systems lipo batteries and various things like that so what i did with this one is i put in a uh, taraxis 20 turn stinger motor being it is a uh, scorpion and scorpions have a form of a stinger i figured that was kind of fitting for it um, and again this particular car also is running uh, spectrum radio gear in it as well um, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to go ahead and put Fly Sky stuff in it or not. Um, I know the Fly Sky stuff you can get the you can get the um, receivers cheaper and stuff like that, but I've got plenty of uh, Spectrum receivers. I ended up going all in on Spectrum here a few years ago, and I've just got too much money invested with Spectrum to uh, to get rid of uh, their line and go to like a Futaba uh, radio, at least for now. Um, and uh, basically, I did him up, uh, the little guy, I did him up as the box art. Um, I did mix the paints. Uh, the, the, I think I was using Parma PSE paints. I had to, had to mix the blue uh, with some white to lighten it up to get it to as close to the box art as I possibly could uh, for that car. And, um, and that's about it for that one. And set this one aside and then I will get out the last and final and to me this one's kind of the crown jewel of the cars now this guy right here this one here is something special uh, this is the Kyosho uh, turbo scorpion um, as with all the builds from the Hornet and the Scorpion, went fantastic. Uh, builds, stickers, everything went great. 
This one, on the other hand, is a little bit more challenging, especially with all the decal work that goes into this car. Um, basically, what you do is you paint the body. Oh, I got some crap on the sticker here. I'll clean that off. Um, you paint the body white, and the blue is all sticker. Stick, you know, this is a, this is something else. I tell you, sticker, sticker, stickers, sticker, sticker, sticker. Yeah. Now the little guy here, I use the Parma PSC paint uh, for making his suit red, and then I painted his little little helmet and all that as well. Um, now this one I did go out all out on a little bit more than the others. Um, this one I did put in the Kyosho uh, 240S brushless edition motor with the 240S speed control, uh, brushless speed control for this car. I figure this car does have the 12 millimeter hexes on the wheels to go with it. So I figured, hey, that's they can handle brushless power. Now mind you, this motor, if you look at it, it's only a 19 and a half turn motor. That's it. Um, one thing I will say though is the magnets on that motor are really kind of strong. I'm really surprised. Um, I've powered it up and, and it does uh, does run. It uh, sounds pretty smooth. Um, it is being powered by uh, that uh, 240 speed control with a Spectrum radio and a Taraxxus uh, 2075 servo. So, yeah. Um, another thing I will say is that the 12 millimeter shocks, um, they do build nicely. Uh, the biggest pain in the butt on this car is when you got to put the little clear uh, seal on the bottom part of the shock cartridge. Um, that is a little bit of a pain, uh, but it's not terrible. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this this one has been my uh, probably one of my even though the body being a pain in the butt, um, this the stickers. Uh, this one's probably my favorite uh, Scorpion besides the original uh, 82 model um, car. Um, this one has definitely got uh, some advantages over the original Scorpion, uh, being that the uh, front track width is wider. The rear track width on the car is also wider. But I think that might have to do with the fact is that those uh, hex adapters back there uh, is what widened the car up. I think they used a longer axle on it. Um, other than that, everything else. Uh, oh yeah, they did do. They did extend the, mil the chassis ten millimeter, and they did it by that bottom plate right there uh, that you're looking at. And as you can see, it says Kyosho Japan. So we are the real deal here with this one. Um, trying to think. I know on the Scorpion there, on the 82, the yellow one I just showed you, I do have a Kyosho Le Mans brushed motor coming in for that one. I'm taking that Taraxxus motor out because, uh, uh, you know, it's been 30 years, 30 plus years since the originals were released. And I figure, well, since I have the re-releases, I figure, well, what are they going to be? What kind of value are these going to have 30 years down the road? And you know, 30 years from now for me is going to be uh, is going to put me at a quite a bit of an age. Um, so I figured, what the hell, we'll Kyosho out the motor and speed control on this one, and then we'll put the Kyosho 490. I think it's a brushed 490 series motor uh, in the other one. And um, you know, hey, if they're worth something to a collector down the line, then may so be it. Um, so yeah, there you go. There is my vintage re-released uh, buggies that uh, I currently have and uh, I do want to get the Kyosho the, the Beetle one um, it basically uses the same chassis setup as the um, as the 82 Scorpion over there uh, but it uses a bug body it kind of looks similar to the Sand Scorcher by to me a little bit it's it, it, it's, it has its own little twist so um, well there you go so Anyway, YouTube, I figured I would uh, show off these cars, these vintage re-release models that I own and uh, whatnot. 
and uh, so that way uh, you know I can enjoy them and you can enjoy them and oh yeah one other thing I wanted to mention is that the yellow here let me get it let me set him aside <clears throat> this guy right here I was on the phone with uh, Kyosho America and this guy has been discontinued uh, Kyosho is not making this car anymore uh, as the re-release so if you're in the market to get one of these uh, original 82 re-released uh, the, the 2014 re-release of the 82 Scorpion uh, better snag one up while you can because uh, according to what they told me is that once the car has been discontinued uh, whatever's on the market is what's on the market and whatever parts are on the market is what parts are available on the market for it and they will make part support for this vehicle or for all their vehicles for two years and then after, after they're discontinued and then after that discontinued after that two years has expired then they're not uh, they don't have to make the parts anymore for them so you'll be stuck to stuck having to get whatever's on the market uh, open market for them via like eBay or uh, Amazon or whoever's got them and selling them and whatever else so um, anyway there you go YouTube I hope you got a chance to enjoy my re-releases here I'll put all of them I don't know if I'm gonna get all of them to fit up here but yeah I'll just kind of throw him oh well, there you go so, and there you go there they are all three of them so anyway all right YouTube Enjoy.